Hey, welcome to Create with Mrs. Carr. Today we are gonna do an elephant, and elephants are really cool. This elephant is actually from India. There's elephants from different parts of the world, some from Africa. The one from India, they celebrate elephants and they decorate them really cool when they um, celebrate them, and that's what we're gonna to create today. So, let me kind of show you the examples, and we need a piece of paper, a pencil, a Sharpie, an eraser, crayons, um, water colors and brushes, and a little cup of water to make our water colors work. Um, the reason that we're doing it is um, with two different mediums. Mediums is like what you're gonna use as far as like your colors. Um, crayons and water colors, like when you do crayons first, then watercolors do not stick to crayons because crayons have wax in them. So it's kind of funny, if you have a white crayon, I also need you to have that in your set and a gray, and then the rest of them can be whatever. So anyway, get your stuff and get ready and we'll get started. Okay, we've got our elephants that we're gonna do. Um, okay, how we're gonna get started is we're gonna do this big, line like this, it's almost like the letter C, um, and we're gonna start in the, about the middle of the page. Okay, now we need to create this trunk. So on the bottom part of this, we are going to follow the line around and do it straight across. Okay, all right, then we're going to do a really big ear. So the ear should maybe be in just a little bit from here, but not too far in, and it's gonna be kind of big. They have these beautiful big ears. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is the back. So from where you start, it started right here, this line, we're gonna come up and go out to the edge of the page. Go like you're going off the page. Great, now we're going to do this jaw line right here. So we're gonna start with where we ended on the trunk and come over to about here on the ear. Okay, now they have these beautiful tusks and um, we are gonna create that that means we are going to need to erase a line. So let's start with it first. So we're gonna kind of come around and it comes to a point and curves back. And then this little line right here, we are going to erase. Just make sure that you don't use that line. And if your eraser isn't working very well like mine, get a different one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. So now we've got our tusk. Now we're gonna create this big leg and we need to come down from the ear to do it. So we come down, across, and back up. Okay, now this is the belly of the elephant. So it's gonna be kind of curved. So from where you ended on the um, leg, we're gonna kind of curve down and off the page. Great. Now, we need to create this eye. This eye is awesome. It's kind of like this oval, kind of like a lemon, like an egg, but it's pointed on the ends. And then we need to do a circle inside. Okay. Now we need to do some toes, and they're just going to be kind of rainbow lines Front one's bigger than the next. Great, now we need to do some lines for wrinkles, but I am actually going to do those with white crayon. Now you're not gonna be able to see the white crayon until we paint, but it's gonna be really cool. So I am going to actually do lines across the head and just look at these lines right here because you cannot see my white crayon as I go, but I'm doing it. So I made all these lines and they go 
like horizontal sideways. And I'm gonna come down onto the trunk. So make sure you have your white crayon. If you don't have it, hurry and hit pause and maybe go back and watch where I'm doing them. So I am doing them all right here, just like this, and maybe a couple up here. Okay, now this is a knee of my elephant. What shape is that? There are circles. So I'm gonna start with a small one and a bigger and a bigger. Like I said, you're not gonna be able to see these yet, but it's gonna be like magic in a minute. Okay, and around the eye, I'm gonna do a couple circles. So the watercolor is not gonna stick to my crayon. Also, I need you to make the trunk white. So you're gonna color that whole thing in. The trunk is, if you're wondering like, what is she doing? Cause I can't see, it's this right here. I just colored that all white right there. Okay, I can even make this line inside of the ear. Great. Now I'm gonna hit pause and I'm going to actually um, quickly just go through and create some of this. I'm gonna use a gray crayon and I'm gonna outline everything, my whole elephant. Um, also, there's some decorations that we can make um, on the elephant, but I will wait to do that. So we're gonna hit pause for a second and I'm going to outline everything in gray. Okay, we're back. And I have taken a gray, gray crayon and I've gone over all of my lines. Um, I'm not using Sharpie this time. I know I use Sharpie a lot in my projects but not on this. Um, so we need to create something on the head and maybe something on the back. So in India, um, elephants bring good luck. The royalty, like the kings, sometimes appear on them. Sometimes the um, soldiers ride them out in war. They're celebrated and they're celebrated with lots of color. So these are really fun. And look how fun this is. I'm actually gonna teach this. Um, so they kind of like put these, it's almost like a blanket or a headdress or some kind of like jewelry on the elephant, but you can do it however you want. So let me just show you this and this, and this is what I'm gonna try. Okay, so I am I really like the colors that these are. So I'm gonna use orange and red, and I'm going to <laughs> create Great, see, it even breaks on me. All right, here we go. Okay. And on its back. Okay, then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna go in between those lines with the orange. So it goes red, orange, red, orange. And this is really kind of fun to have these kind of hanging down. And then I'm gonna come back with the red and just maybe do some circles. Now yours don't have to look exactly like mine. You could even look up some of the um, things that the Indian elephants kind of look like, like some of the celebrating um, blankets and different things that they put on them. And anyway, I think that looks really cool. Now, like I said, watercolors do not stick to crayons. So you need to get out your watercolors, um, a little bit of water, and I'm gonna have two size brushes, but I might just use the big one the most. Most watercolors do not have gray in them, so you have to make gray. How you make gray is with white and black, okay? So I get out some white. Remember, you've got to dip into the water to make it work, and maybe a little bit of black, and I'm making the gray. If the gray looks a little too dark, add more white to it. You don't want it to be super dark, okay? I have just created gray make from white and black. Now I'm gonna go over my elephant and I even go over the headdress that I just created and the blanket. Look at how 
it doesn't stick to the crayon. It kind of goes around it. It's like magic. Okay. Don't go into the eye though, but I decorated around the eye with the white crayon. Remember, you need some water on your brush when you're doing watercolors. That's what makes it work. Ooh, I love elephants. This is awesome. Okay, don't forget, don't go inside the eye, but you can go over everything else. So fun. Okay, also to make it look really cool, you can do the background in a color. Um, I think I'll do purple. I have some purple that I have out here and in here. Remember, you need water. And then you can decorate the background. And it can be whatever color you want. Okay, you guys. I hope you had fun with this. And uh, come back again. So fun to have you guys come. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to go really fast. What's really fun with watercolor too is that some places can look lighter and some can look darker. So anyway, I'm gonna go all the way around here. I hope you enjoyed this project. Remember to make your elephants look awesome. And uh, see you later, bye.